You know, I'm not a really big fan of itching. I can't find anybody who think it really is. I mean, uh, to me, itching is like my final frontier, you know? It's, it's this irritating, tingly sensation that you're basically saying, scratch me, scratch me, scratch me now! You know, it's, uh, I mean, you know, I've let go a lot of things, you know, I'm no longer angry at, you know, trivial things. I've been eating healthier, so I feel healthier, you know. I have no shame, so I feel, you know, yeah, I feel better, and when you can let all of that go, all that's left is the itch. Where does it come from? I don't know. Everything, really. Allergies, insects, uh, hair, plants, balls, everything pretty much can make you itch, you know. Um, before I moved out here to the West Coast, I had a completely different concept of itching. Um, I smoke weed. It's not a big deal. It happens. And uh, before I came out here, I was adamant whatever I did, I wanted to be involved with marijuana somehow. I wanted to cook it, grow it, trim it, smoke it. I wanted to be the bubba from Forrest Gump of weed. You know, you can barbecue it, boil it, broil it, bake it, saute it, things on shrimp kebabs. So, uh, I came out here, I get settled, I start helping some friends trip, and uh, it's late night once and everybody's sleeping, including my friend's dogs laid over my legs while I do my bonsai tree thing, and I'm trimming for a while and I start itching all over, and immediately I'm convinced that these dogs have fleas or something and they're hopping all over me. You know, after a few days of just like, you know, cursing these dogs out to their face, but you know, behind their owner's backs, I just kind of like lose it, I'm like, shit! I'm itchy, man. I'm itchy all over. I think you guys have fleas. My friend looks at my arm and she's like, oh, no. You just have a weed allergy. <sighs> it broke my heart. I finally knew what all my friends with chocolate allergies felt like, you know? It was, I mean, apparently there's something in the raw marijuana that just makes me get rashes. It happens to a lot of people, apparently, that just get intense reactions. But, uh, being outside more, I come across a, a lot of itchy uh, situations, if you will. I was uh, mowing my lawn and I ran across a yellow jacket's nest. Yeah. Do you know that yellow jackets can make nests sometimes in the ground? I do. Now. Uh, when you get stung more than once, your running away style totally changes. You're all like... <laughs> you know, you start running all erratically like, you know, maybe I can confuse them, you know? They, they can't sting me if I don't run normal. You know, wasps things, which is what they are, wasps. I researched these fuckers at like 3 in the morning. Why? Because after this painful sting, about a week later, you get an itch like nobody's business. And for me, that hit at 3 in the morning, so I'm just looking up all this information. Now, I have yellow jacket information stored in my brain, essentially because I'm planning my life around their life cycles. I mean, I have to live in my outdoor playtime because of these yellow jackets. And they kind of sound like a gang, you know? Like the yellow jackets, because, I mean, I'm honestly scared to go outside my house because now they're stinging away from their nest, which means everywhere outside is, is a potential war zone, you know? I mean, I have to look out the window before we get into the car. My roommate's like, hey, you ready to go? I'm like, on a yellow jacket top? <laughs> Hold on, let's just take a look here. All right, man, let's come on, let's go, let's go. 